All right, this is a 220 volt AC, 120 LEDs per meter, RGB neon flex, uh, RGB LED, LED strip, sorry. Okay, so we're gonna install a Bluetooth controller in this one, so you can see so four pins that need to go in these four holes. So one, two, three, four. Okay, we're gonna be using the plier to push them in slightly. Just don't have to push it completely. You have to make sure that uh, these pins are doesn't touch the PCB board. Okay, looks good. Now we need the Bluetooth controller. So, so this is the Bluetooth controller. So ideally the maximum length of do you for this should be about 45 meters. You can use it for 50 meters, but recommend using 40 meters. So we disconnect the Bluetooth controller in. Okay, looks good. Uh, before installing it, let's put the end cap in for safety. That's it. Normally when we send it to the customers, we use a heat shrink and a bit of glue inside and a heat shrink here. Okay, let's connect it in. Okay, let's change it. Looks like that side is not working. All right, it's got stuck inside. Take it out. Okay, let's try again. Okay, let's try now. Yeah, it's good. Okay, here's the remote. Let's change the colors. Green, red, blue, white. It's like a cool white. Uh, you can change colors with the phone as well. You need to install an app. It's Lucas Lantern. So, here we go. So, that's the app. You can change the colors with the app. Um, let's move it here. Red. It's got other functions as well, so style. Okay, let's try music. Okay, do not have any good music here. Let's try the video demand. Okay. Okay, it's got the mic. Uh, so the phone mic, so the lights would use the phone mic and the external mic if there is an external mic installed. So, and you can schedule timing, what time you're gonna turn them on and off. So you can do that. Okay, what is happening again? Control the brightness. Hmm. 
Okay, um, style. You can control the speed. Okay, increase the speed, control the brightness. So, yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, send us an email. Answer the question, question you can write in the comments if you have any questions.